gather with others today on this side of the continent, at the shores of this ocean, the Atlantic, in the bosom of our nation's capital, to commemorate the legacy of Kamehameha, the 18th century warrior and indigenous leader who established a unified political governance in Hawaii 200 years ago. Mahalo to all the working hands who have honored and continue to honor Kamehameha in Washington, D.C. over these four decades, 40 years. As Aboriginal Indigenous Native people of Hawaii, we are poised and ready to begin reorganizing a Native Hawaiian governing entity enabled by action of the Congress and the President to enact the Native Hawaiian Government Reorganization Act 2009 by summer Senate at a later time. 
The urgency for enactment of this federal policy remains compelling and has been the focus of elevated attention for over 10 years. Our message through our collective voice must resound from these halls and throughout this nation, from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific shores of Hawaii Bay, to consistently remind this nation that reconciliation with the indigenous native people of Hawaii as yet is unfinished. In this moment of America's history, Hawaii and Native Hawaiians have an important role to fulfill. As a reflection of Hawaii's unique contribution to the Union of States, the nation carries the image of Kamehameha and our islands on the Hawaii State Commemorative Quarter. And imprinted on that quarter is our state motto, Wamao Keo Kaini Kapono, the life of this land is perpetuated in righteousness. May this Hawaiian message add its spirit, light the 